Welcome to Pensacola Beach. I want to share some of my very favorite things I love about this area, and it may even help with your planning for your next visit. Starting with Casino Beach. There is a $1 toll to get on the island over the bridge, but you can see that the beach is really, really close. Number one reason why I love Casino Beach is the beautiful beaches. We're gonna go west from Casino Beach. You can see the beach bar and grill. It's a little beach bar and their resort, the Pensacola Beach Resort. So it's absolutely lovely. And of course you can see miles and miles and a large wide beach that will fit lots of people. And I love the convenience of the restaurants and bars right on Casino Beach. We've got crabs, the dock, we have a snack shop, and the band shell. We also have public restrooms and Casino Beach Bar and Grill. And we're going to take a little closer look at each of these things. First up is crabs, and I love the patio that they have here. They usually have live music and good food, and it's just a lot of fun. And next up, right next door, is the dock. I love this little beach bar. It is fun, it's very casual, all are welcome, and it really is walking distance from crabs. I love hanging out here. Obviously the patio and the access to the view is amazing. And right next door is the snack shop. And they have a lot of good things here. They're seasonal, so you know, obviously they're not open in the winter, but they do have a lot of fun of foods and snacks, beers and wines, and of course any little thing that you may have forgotten is right here. It's very convenient. Next up right on Casino Beach is the band shell. And they do actually use this every Tuesday seasonally. They do have a live band here and you can bring your chairs, your coolers, and just enjoy some music. It's just a lot of fun and very convenient restrooms, which is great. Right next door is Casino Beach Bar and Grill. I love this whole restaurant. They have a large patio, they have a bar out here and absolutely amazing views from this restaurant here. So it's perfect. And we're gonna go check out the beach. They have a nice mat. So if you need to wheel your wagons or wheelchairs, you can get close enough to the beach, which is great. Let's just take a look at the glorious and lovely Pensacola Beach. And right on Casino Beach, they have an awesome, awesome pier. This is a fishing pier and you can go and walk on it. There is a small cost to do that, but I really do love coming out here taking pictures. It is one of my very favorite things to do. So please take advantage of that. The cost is definitely well worth it. Right on the pier, there is the bear fruit bowls and coffee. So if you're there in the morning or if you want just a little snack, very convenient and cute little shop right on the pier. And the pier walking pass is 225 for the day. They'll give you a wristband and you can walk out on the pier. And the pier is connected to Casino Beach Bar and Grill. Let's go take a look at some of the views from the pier. One really nice thing is Casino Beach has a large free parking lot. So you can come and find a spot. I've rarely found the parking lot to be completely full. So that's really nice. And you may have noticed that Pensacola Beach has its own icon, the beach ball. I love taking pictures of this, it's kind of fun. They also run the trolley right to the beach from different locations on the island. And seasonally, the Blue Angels will do a beach buzz coming back from one of their shows around the nation. So these are on Sundays and it is amazing. And of course, I love the natural wildlife, but please take care and be respectful <laughs> of the creatures that may be around in the water. Um, yep, yeah, they're definitely here.
And one last look at Casino Beach before we head over to the boardwalk. And the boardwalk is just across the main road from the beach. So it's very close, it's actually walkable. You could park at the Casino Beach parking lot and head over to the boardwalk if it's way too busy or too packed. And the boardwalk sits on the sound side of Pensacola Beach. So you can see that there are a lot of different buildings. There's shops and restaurants and bars and people do like to swim on the sound side. It's a lot calmer and it is just really lovely. And being a main attraction, there is a trolley stop at the boardwalk as well. And of course, you're gonna have a lot of souvenir shops. You can buy your swimming suits and t-shirts and hats and all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and check out the boardwalk. And it's a nice stroll with a lot of shops and restaurants. First up, we're gonna check out Bamboo Willies. And Bamboo Willies has a row of frozen drinks and they're very delicious and very yummy. And it does have a nice water view on the sound side. There's also Kilwin's ice cream and treats right here on the boardwalk. And you can get pizza by the slice at Papa's Pizza. And on the end is Hooters. They have a really nice patio and a lovely view of the sound. And coming back from Papa's Pizza, we're gonna head the other direction towards the other side of the boardwalk and check it out. And on Sundays, you'll find a local artist market. So you have all the artists bringing their things to show and to sell. And right in the middle of the boardwalk is the Pensacola Bay Cruises Terminal. You can take a little cruise from downtown Pensacola and it stops here at the boardwalk and also at Fort Pickens. And at the very end of the boardwalk is Whiskey Joe's. And this is a really fun place. They have an amazing patio, lots of chairs, fire pits, and a great view. One more view of that boardwalk. We're gonna head down the sound and we're gonna go over to Laguna's, which is a fun family friendly place to go and hang out. And if you're looking for some adventure, Laguna's has a lot of different things. So they have ropes course, they have go-karts, they have splash pad, they have climbing things, they have a bar and grill. It's a lot of fun, of course, you have jet skis, parasailing, all kinds of stuff. Let's go check it out. The Upstairs Bar has Fat Tuesday drinks. And right next door to Laguna's is Radical Rides where you can jet ski and parasail. And we're gonna head from Radical Rides over to the Gulf Islands National Seashore, one of my very favorite things along Pensacola Beach. And first of all, we're gonna go east on Via de Luna, and we're gonna check out the Gulf Islands National Seashore, past the Portofino Towers, and past the Dog Park Beach. And I love the serene beaches of the Gulf Islands National Seashore. It is truly a gem of Pensacola Beach. It goes west and east of Pensacola Beach. And going east from Pensacola Beach, if you go far enough, you'll actually go to Navarre Beach.
in one last view of that beautiful ocean. We're actually going to head west on the Gulf Islands National Seashore. But first, I want to show you one of my favorite parks to stop and enjoy the beach. Welcome to Park West. And this is a great park because they have a lot of picnic shelters and there's restrooms and there's a large beach with a lot of room and a lot of space for everybody to enjoy. As you can see, it's just absolutely wide open and usually quite clear, but it's a great little spot. And to access that Gulf Islands National Seashore going west, there is a day pass that you have to pay, but you get access to Fort Pickens and all the loveliness on this side of Pensacola Beach. Of course, you're going to find pull-offs and areas where you can enjoy the beach by yourself. The beach is not cleaned up like Casino Beach, so it's a lot more natural. You're going to see seashells and things in the sand. But as you can see, it is just lovely. It's beautiful. And I love driving along this whole way as well. It's just amazing. If you do take advantage of this side of Pensacola Beach, one of my favorite places to stop is Langdon Beach. They have a really nice picnic shelter with restrooms and easy access to this beach. And another great thing is if you have access to the side, you get to go to Fort Pickens and you can walk around this whole facility for free. They do have tours that you can pay for, but I love that this is a place you can go take the kids, take the family, and it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's really neat to kind of see. And my next favorite spot is the marina. And this is so much fun. You can see all of the pontoon boats. There's a double pontoon with slides. They have fishing charters. They have dolphin tours and tiki boats. It's just a lot of fun. I can say from experience that chasing fins is a lot of fun. I went on one of their dolphin cruises and I had a really, really good time. There's additional tours at the marina behind Shaggy's, and Shaggy's actually will cook your catch, which is really interesting, so check that out. And that will do it for my favorite things across Pensacola Beach. I sure hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you soon.